kids learn from modeling kids are very good at listening to what we do as opposed to what we say three two one tab and click a channel we're going to learn a lot what, what do you want to hear about parenting what are you curious about yes well, well from from my side because i'm a single parent yes so i wanted to understand when you're raising a boy child yes. as a mother yes what are the do's and don'ts? Okay. And Wonderful. Yeah, I know that's a, that's a very big one because even in, in the previous session we, we touched a little bit on that. Okay, single parents and if you have a boy, what do you do when he says you don't understand? I'm a man. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Fair. Is he a teenager? No. Not yet. So preteens. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but these days, I don't know if it's the chicken or what, they grow up very. Quickly, yeah. eleven-year-olds know things that hey. mm. <laughs> I was speaking to another eleven-year-old. He was telling me about this Havana. Yeah, so they drink there at school. I said, but you're eleven, you know. Yeah, ah, but the world is. Okay, but we'll talk about it. It's nice, okay? So teenagers, any two more, two more? Yes, yes. Raising a highly effective kid. How to raise a highly effective kid? What does that mean? Like, Focused you, yeah. How do you raise a child who's focused? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So teens focus, highly effective teenagers who use their time well, yeah. uh, who are disciplined, who do their homework, polish their shoes, uh, listen to mommy. <laughs> okay. So I have a six-year-old and a three-year-old. Okay. A six-year-old is a girl, yeah. and then a three-year-old is a, a boy. boy. So um, I would expect that a six-year-old should know or should at least see if um, what's that into the wrong. Yeah. And I would want her to say, "Uti, I cause the wrong man. No, don't do that." Imagine when they do the wrong thing, but need to obviously, I'm gonna want to say, "How can you not see what you guys are doing? It's wrong." Yeah. So I want to know how to um, instill a discipline in a way. As I feel how hard you are being unfair. You are being unfair. Yeah, but they don't get it, eh? They just you must be fair. Yeah. Okay, no, we'll talk about it. Nice, nice that you bring. Wanna talk about discipline? Yes, two more. Okay, three more. Yes, one, two, three. Then we speak. Yes. It's two girls. One is entering the teenage. Okay. Fourteen. She's like uh, my sister's um, child as well. Yeah. Too focused. Yeah, too focused. Yeah, I think. Okay. Into, yeah. Eighties, uh, nineties, and then a nine-year-old who is completely different uh, yeah. from her child. Yeah. Yeah. Playful, but then come tests, she passes, mm. and she's loud and normal. So yeah. And yeah, well, I'm not a single parent, so my partner is always saying maybe I shouldn't shout. Why? I, I need to, to hear what's wrong. Okay. I feel like shouting. I feel like, hey, when I get out, laugh. It's okay. Yeah, is it wrong, you know? Yeah. To smack them. Okay, well, yeah, definitely. Uh, two more than we go into it. Uh, yes. I mean, it's uh, for me, for me, it's kind of how do you have difficult conversations with them? Or how do you approach them without trying to scare them away and without um, building that barrier? How do you have difficult conversations with your children that continue to still have that relationship? With difficult them? question. It's, it's so, so a what's a difficult conversation? For me, it's difficult conversations such as. You know, when you're trying to to. You can just give me a theme, like. Mm. Theme. Yeah. Girlfriends. 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 Boyfriends. Um, sexuality. Okay. Intimacy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That kind of thing. Okay. Awesome. 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 No. Okay. Well, for me, I have a preteen. Yeah. Yes. We've never given my mother an attitude. Yes. I think we were the perfect four girls. So now I have a girl yes. in my head. Nah. Yes. You know, so I'm expecting me. that. I am going to. It's showing flames, oh. eh? <laughs> She's got her own mind. I, I don't know, but she, she just gives attitude. She just okay. wakes up. She's in a bad mood. 
you don't know what to do. So I'm um, kind of the next thing, all right, now everybody must be okay. Yeah. You know, like, Ups and downs, you yeah, know, we're ready to. Okay. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, I have a four year old. Yes. He doesn't take no for an action. Yeah. So for him, like everything, it has to go his way. If you say no, what does he do? Um, he's saying, for instance, he wants to play games with my phone. Then I say no. Then he continues to come and ask. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Okay, noted. Uh, last hand. Last hand, which is me. Uh, okay, sorry. I think mine is. As the same as the lady, mm. and the my sisters. She's a teenager, she's just throwing the trans. Yeah, yeah. I'm the only child yeah. to my parents. Yeah. Being 42, and yeah. our school has just, you know, I did everything. I've never done those funny things with my mom or with my dad. Yeah. But with my, my daughter, I'm expecting her to be like you. Like me. And I know yet it's the cult. Yeah. Now I'm having um, another child again. She's five, mm. very focused. You know, it's like when I'm even talking to her sister, it's not like she's not here. Yeah. But I don't know how to, okay, to, to be calm yeah. at the same time, because I, I need to speak to the sister so that she can understand. Yeah. And then this one as well, she must also hear what I'm saying to the sister. But you know, it's a totally different thing. Yeah. And then after the next thing, He's hyper. And don't tell me anything my dad will tell me. So Where is Daddy? It's around. It's like okay. What? Okay, yeah, fair enough. I think, uh, yeah, I think uh, we, we covered those. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about discipline. We'll talk about personalities. Uh, we'll talk about boundaries. Um, so we'll cover that. If I don't cover, then we'll just. Um, you ask so um, so I don't mind as, as I talk that you ask a question right so we can talk um, uh, I don't like lecture so much so, so uh, why are you here what are you interested in okay you don't have to go there yeah, yeah. so uh, the next idea is that uh, no one is perfect so if, if, uh, if no one is perfect no parent is perfect so if you are going to parent, you must accept this about yourself. Uh, I can be an effective parent, but I, I can't be a perfect parent. And, and that should let you breathe a little bit, you know, if you're trying to be a perfect somebody. But the other thing is that, but kids learn from modeling. Kids are very good at listening to what we do as opposed to what we say. And some of us get annoyed when our children do things we do. Especially when you see those things you don't like in your children. Like, Ooh, you know. um, so, but we are the model. But that means if you want to be an effective parent, you have to be a certain kind of person. Uh, if you want your child to eat well, you should eat well. Yeah. If you want your child to not watch TV the whole day, you should watch TV the whole day. If you want your child to read, you should be reading. And they say 5% of people read after matric in South Africa. And that one is a problem. It's like we're going to be perpetual slaves if we don't read, right? So the things you do, your children will model. Uh, the way you talk, your children are going to copy you. Um, the way you don't talk, uh, the way you avoid things. So if, if you are going to parent, then think about this. But I am the model. The child is going to learn, look at me, and they're going to do what I'm doing. So it's, it's got its negative side in that the bad qualities you have, your children might take on, but the good qualities uh, you have, your children might take up. Take up being, they might choose to take it up or they might choose something else. And, and that's why it's important for children to have different adults in their lives who love them because they'll learn different things. Sorry. So kids will learn different things from different people. Um, I, was, I was telling somebody, I said, yo, hey, now I wouldn't want to raise, raise my children by myself because if they learn all the things, my, all my weakness is a problem. They, you know, they need balance, grandparents, partners, family. So it's important that we parent together. I'm raising children. Um, they're going to be married or settle with somebody, work with somebody, relate to other people. 
if they don't do their part, then we're going to have a problem. Or I traumatize my children, and then they're going to traumatize maybe your sons. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? So that's why we need each other to, to all do our best because our children are going to interact. Okay, that makes sense. So normally, um, when people send their children here, as a psychologist, I'm, I'm actually not too concerned about the kids. I usually, I'm interested in the relationship of the parents. Say, oh, my child is doing this and this and this. No, wait, let's pause that one. Let's talk about you. What's going on with you? You know, because kids just mirror um, what, what's, what's happening. Uh, many years ago, I met a little boy. Uh, he was three years old. And uh, they brought him to me. And then they said he had what they call selective mutism. So this boy chooses not to talk. He doesn't speak. But he can, but he chooses not to. So wherever he goes, he'll keep quiet. And then I was so puzzled about what's going on. One day, then the parents came, mom and dad came. And then so, but they, they then, because they, they separated, they have their own issues. So we start getting the history. Then they say, um, these people actually didn't stay very far from each other. So the, the child doesn't speak. When the child doesn't speak, they come together to take the child to the clinic. So the child's illness works. He has to be ill to have his mommy and daddy. You see. So, but he doesn't plan it. It just happens because he, oh, when I'm like this, they're here. So they walk together, then they have to separate. And the kid sits in the middle of the street because he doesn't want to go with this one or that one. When they get to a point where they must go this way or then the child sits in the middle of the street. Daddy says, come. Mommy says, come. He says, yeah. But no, you must come together with me. You know what I mean? So um, our parents then do affect us. So uh, the, the, the combination you normally have is you, you get uh, a gentleman and a lady. They have kids. And, um, and then so, so it's, it's the two of them and they have children. But what we have in South Africa is um, you find they had or she met someone and they have a child. Maybe he's the firstborn, he's the eldest. And then she got married to him. And then so then they have children. This one is either raised by the grandmother. Because maybe if you were if you were young, maybe they are raised by the grandmother. And then but there's a whole system here. Then this person must join later. I think the firstborn is on the firstborn. And sometimes they jostle for for uh, position, you know. Um, or this one feels as if, oh, they don't love me. They live there in their nice house. My mom left me there with my granny. Then she got married there with my dad. They are nice with their family, and then they forgot about me. So we have a lot of that, and then people uh, try and work out there as well. And of course, it's got issues with um, finances late in life. Um, People, how do you do? You talk to your ex and all those things. Do you parent differently? I'm just creating a picture that a lot of dynamics then come into the picture. Um, so one of the key things that actually helps children is actually present dads. Dads who are active in the children's lives. Um, somebody went to prison. Uh, they were working with prisoners, and then so they were doing some artwork. Uh, one of the artworks they wanted to do is. Um, the, they wanted to create uh, Mother's Day cards. So they said to the prisoners, it was a men's prison, let's create Mother D- Mother's Day cards. So they went and then they were working on the Mother's Day cards and then they said, let's create cards for Father's Day. And the prisoners were like, nah, you know, nah, we don't want to do that because there's an issue with dad, you know, daddy issues, you know. So it's, it's an important thing uh, because we, we know that Women generally care about relationships, and men generally care about things. And that's why when a couple comes for therapy, she will say, but you promised me you will marry me. And he will say, but I'm still working. (laughs) But I told you, but I told you I need to make this money. But I care about the relationship. No, we must create the financial situation. You know what I mean? So then different priorities, then we clash, right? But we need to be models, and we need to accept that we, we are going to make mistakes. Um, and then, but we should try our best uh, because in life, 
the best thing you can do is actually just try your best. It's actually to just become the best version that you can be. So even with parenting, you try your best. Life deals us different cards. In South Africa, I think about 57 people die every day, murdered. Uh, about, f I think it's 42 men, 40 something men every day. Uh, I think the woman is less than 10 and two children every day. There's this murder. Um, forget the, the accidents. The accident is over 40. Uh, uh, over 40 people don't get to go home. Uh, some who are drunk driving, uh, some who are walking in the streets. Um, so those kind of things affect uh, the, the combinations we have in the house. So um, sometimes it's divorce because half of the people who get married divorce. So you have different challenges, but we have to do our best. Um, suffering is inevitable. Um, when you live, suffering will come your, wi your way one way or another but we shouldn't be discouraged uh, we are stronger than we think and we need to do our best does that make sense yeah. yeah so we don't sit and feel sorry for ourselves we do the best we can with what we have with the resources and the time and the knowledge we have when we learn something new then we, we do that but we always try and do our best um, and then kids we're actually just um, you are stewarding them um, because there's this idea that we have children that will take care of you but that's not the purpose of having children because um, you raise them and then they leave you you raise them to leave you I mean, it's hard to swallow you know? <laughs> I, have, I have two daughters you know so I look at them and I'm like, I know you're going to come back one day, you're going to tell me you love some other guy. <laughs> and I must make peace. I must say, oh, my baby, some other guy, you know. So I have to accept that and make peace with it, you know. Um, but we raise children to be their own people. Uh, if you raise children to keep them, they're going to have all sorts of problems which we can talk about. Right? Because even when it comes to wealth, we know it's we're supposed to you create, you set up, and then your children take it and then they, you know, not that our kids should take care of us. Well, we have to cover up because of our history, um, but a, a more effective way is if we save up for our children. Um, if your child finishes school and there is, a, say, a flat there for them, they are able to work, save money. Uh, before they are 40, they could be a millionaire if they make the right decisions. So we, we pass it forward instead of we get to a place and then we have to, but we have to do it now because of the situation we come from. But ideally, parents leave for their children. And then, because wealth is a, is a game of time. It's a generational thing. Uh, Daddy had a taxi, I bought a bus. We bought a bus, we bought a fleet of buses. Now we're into headlines because the one started something. So we have to do it that way. And then, but also human beings are more resilient than they think. There are things, um, you could be born in a tough situation but you are able to, to, to get out of that or make something meaningful out, out of your life. So although no one is perfect, we should, we should try our best. So when we parent, you should have that in mind. Make sense?